This is the HV615. It is going to be powered with the S13. It can also have the T14 transmission or it can have the Allison transmissions. It will be available with an Allison 3000 series, uh, 4000 series, 4500, as well as the 4700 uh, series transmission with the, with the S13 power. Like I mentioned earlier, the horsepower ratings go from 370 for the 3000 series combination, right? Because we're going to have 1450 torque with that, as well as to go all the way up to 515 and 1850 torque with the T14 transmission. This is a setback variant, right? So the, the BA position is, is 46. When we move into the uh, 515 uh, version of it, uh, you'll have a BA position of uh, 29 and a half. Um, it's available. Uh, in a 4x2 configuration or a 6x4 configuration. The HV615 is also available with a Tritum drive. When we're talking about axles, we well, can install up to three lift axles at the plant. They are integrated uh, into our electrical system and they're operated with wheels and tires at the plant. We can either have uh, three pushers or you can have two pushers and a tag or any combination thereof. For cabs, whether it be on the medium duty product or the heavy duty product, we have the day cab, the crew cab, and the extended cab versions of them all. There's very few restrictions in terms of the cabs, in terms of applications. You can see here the sloped hood. In the previous model, we had a high vis hood and a standard hood for cooling. This sloped hood is available all the way up through our horsepower range and torque range of 515 and 1850. Uh, pound feet of torque. Now this has got the uh, the S13, like I mentioned before, and, and I think one of the things you'll notice right away is here on the uh, on this side of the engine, the cool side of the engine. There, there's no EGR cooler anymore. You might see. An EGR pipe we use that during cold startup or low uh, load situations when we're at highway speed, but there's very little EGR used on this on this engine. Daily fluid checks here. Um, here's a fuel water separator, right? So that's commonized. So no matter what configuration you get, you're not going to have it on the rail anywhere. It's always going to be mounted up here on the towel. We have our air dryer located here uh, for the set uh, back axle uh, position. That's our air dryer. Uh, it will come with an optional shield um, for that location. We don't have the shield here, but there will be a shield that's optional. And then when we have a set forward axle truck, the, um, the air dryer will be mounted right here behind the steer tire and behind the fender, so it's protected as well. Um, in terms of the S13, we got our fixed geometry turbo in there, and there's no DOC, diesel oxidization catalyst going backward. Um, this is our standard mounted uh, exhaust system, right? Uh, for uh, high ground clearance applications or belly pile applications, this will be able to be raised uh, by 9.7 inches uh, to allow for the full swing of the, uh, of the wall board.